next on Life Today. And here's the thing for women, all shapes, all sizes, all ages, all, it does not matter, it's all inclusive. Laurie Cole shares how we can glorify God in our everyday lives. You don't have to accept mediocrity in Christ. He wants us to have abundance. He wants us to have a life that's overcoming. He wants us to live a life that glows, that glorifies Him. Encouragement for Women, next. Come into your home. I mean it. And we've got a real special guest we're excited about. I'm James Robinson. Betty and I are thrilled to have Laurie Cole here. Now, Laurie is the daughter of the man who led uh, crusade singing and music for me in about 500 citywide crusades. His wife, Julia, they kind of took care of us a lot. Absolutely. We'd go over and a stay. Lot. You just told <laughs> Laurie. By the way, I want you to welcome Laurie Cole to <laughs> Life Today. Laurie's been here before you back. Betty just reminded you, Laurie, that we would come stay with you, and you had to give up your bedroom you for us. I, huh? No, you were gone. Oh, I was gone. I, you went, oh, okay. With Rhonda and I went and stayed with Julia and the, all the because kids. Because me and John were out crusading yeah. all over the That's world. That's right. Well, well, Laurie gave up her bedroom. So I Laurie, you are beautiful, and you are a blessing. And let me just go straight to the chase. Now, listen to me. We're going to be talking about a teaching series, The Temple, and she's going to be talking about what the temple is. And this just isn't an Old Testament reference to the temple, as significant as all that is. She's going to talk about a New Testament emphasis that I think you're going to appreciate. As a matter of fact, I think it could have what I would consider revolutionary impact on the entire Christian community. But here's what I want you to know right up front. Many of you love Beth Moore. Wednesdays with Beth. If you're not watching Beth, you owe it to yourself and everybody you love to watch her because she's so anointed of God to impart truth. What an inspiration she has been to women and to every person who is impacted by the truth that she shares. Wednesdays with Beth. Beth's seminars sold out everywhere, putting them on simulcast, her teachings in all the bookstores. I'm going to tell you this, and Beth would, she'd nod right with me. Laura is anointed like Beth. And many of you would say, well, we would love to have Perhaps Laurie come to our church. There's her website. She'll come and share in your community or your church. She'll be a tremendous blessing. Laurie, I got to ask you about the temple and tell me what got a hold of you and what verse you referenced that sort of kicked this whole thing off. Well, you know, to me, the, the, the verse that kicks this off is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. And it's a verse that makes a lot of women feel really guilty. It's a verse that says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in us, who is from God. And we're not our own anymore. We are bought with the price. So the Bible says you got to glorify God in your body. And most women think, I look at my body and it doesn't look too good for me. I must have really messed up God's temple. How can I glorify God? But you know what? The emphasis in that verse is not on making us feel guilty. And I really don't even think the emphasis is on the body itself. It is on the fact that it's a fact. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit, except that if you are a believer, you are His temple. That is the truth. Believe it. Take it to the bank. And if you are the temple, and you are if you're a Christian, listen, you have the supernatural ability to glow, mm -hmm. to glorify God. And we call this our, uh, it's, a, it's a women's Bible study, so we call it our You Glow Girl Bible study. <laughs> you glow girl. It is our you glow, you glow Girl. Listen, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That is a one size fits all verse. Say it again. Care. You it are the is what? The, the, the fact that you and I are the temple. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 is a one size fits all all verse. All denominations? Care, all denominations. And here's the thing for women. All shapes, all sizes, all ages, all, it does not matter. It's all inclusive. And so, <laughs> you know, the focus is not really so much on what your temp, what your body looks like. 
what age and stage you're at, the fact that the, the verse is and the truth that liberates us from the false teaching of the world that we just get so caught up in this external body that we have. We use that verse so much sometimes to just beat ourselves up that we don't feel like we're in shape enough or that we're taking care of the temple enough. And there is an application for that, and I don't deny that. But the big truth about that is, is listen, girl, glow. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you can glow. You can glorify God no matter what age, no matter what shape you're in, no matter what size you are, no matter whether you're in a wheelchair, okay? No, it does not matter. Listen, that is not the emphasis. The emphasis of that is to glorify God, and that's the big, to me, blessing of that one verse. Of the, that's one of the hardest things for women, especially, yes. to do, is because yes. most, a lot of times we don't like ourselves that's because why. you said we don't like the way we look, and we, therefore we have low self esteem Mm -hmm. But we need to see us uh, through God's eyes Amen. and who He created. God didn't make a mistake. No, He <laughs> did not. And the world is so, emphasis, their emphasis is on the external. And if you go uh, check out the grocery store like we you know, all do, you'll see magazines, you'll see all kinds of things. You see beauty is worship today. You see the physical, the exterior is where the emphasis is placed. And we know God's not like that. We know that. We know that in our heads. But we also don't see the heart of God is saying, listen, I've made you my temple. I have put the Holy Spirit in you. So you get out there and glow. You can reflect me in your daily life. You can glorify me through your body if you'll let me. You're touching on two areas that are terribly misrepresented, misunderstood. The body as the world presents it and women comparing themselves with everything the world throws at them, men being mis, uh, let's say, directed or attracted improperly so many times uh, and, and drawn away from the, what should be the proper appreciation for the beauty of women, regardless of whether they have the figure that some other woman has or whatever, there's an inner beauty that's there. This is what God's talking about. So there's a tremendous misunderstanding there. But there's also, it seems to me, Laurie, a misunderstanding of the Holy Spirit. This has become very uh, uh, divisive in a lot of Christian churches. You say Holy Spirit. You know, you say Holy Spirit. And, you know, you can say Holy Ghost. And it's just, you sort of get these different catch words. Or sometimes you get scared. Holy Ghost. And, and you don't know, but this has become divisive. And I think that's tragic because, as I understand, the Holy Spirit would be the fullness of God, His Spirit, His, His Christ. Christ likeness inside of us overflowing in us. Isn't this what he's talking about? And should anybody be afraid of that? No, they should not. And that is really and truly the only way that I can glorify God in my body. It says, I'm a temple of the Holy Spirit. And you know, James, I was brought up, uh, I, I became a Christian at an early age. And listen, I became a Christian at an early age in, an, uh, in a meeting where you spoke, where you shared the gospel. I was seven years old and the Holy Spirit came to live in me. <laughs> he came to live in me and he's never left me. And I just thank the Lord for that. He came and resided in me. But you know, I also grew up and I attended a lot of conferences and things like that because I was exposed to this ministry at an early age. I heard some great conservative uh, wonderful Bible teachers teach me what it meant to be filled with the Holy Spirit and they taught me also how to walk in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I'm so grateful that at an age 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, I knew the Holy Spirit was not a person to be afraid of, but that He was the power source within me who can enable me to live this life out that God had called me to. I've never had a fear of the Holy Spirit. However, I am almost 50 years old now. That was over 20, 30 years ago. I can't believe and it. And I know, I can't either, I can't either. I must be a hundred. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's the deal that troubles me, James. You know, I love Baptists. I am a Baptist. I love mainline denominations. There's so many, you know, there's one, we, we're all working together, I believe. But here's the problem. Something happened about 30 or 40 years ago, I guess, maybe, maybe maybe less than that. And it seemed like to me that the teaching on the freedom and the power of walking in the Spirit just began to be something that we saw a lot of mainline denominations move away from. And in my day and time now, as I'm in my 40s, and I see uh, so many women trying to live out and trying to be a woman who glorifies God, they've not been taught how 
to do that. How do you do it? You have to know how to walk in the Spirit. And so that study really is, that's one of my greatest goals, is that they work through the study, they understand the truth, that they are God's temple today, and that they also, at the end of that study, learn the only way to glow, the only way to glow is, listen, you got to glow with the flow. Okay? <laughs> you got to glow with the flow of the Holy Spirit in your life. And mm. so that is my, one of my great goals in the study, was to teach women the truth about the Holy Spirit and how how they can walk in the Spirit, how they can let the Spirit flow. When lives. you're teaching this and you have these women out there, can as, as you get to this part of it, can you see God just, just working through the expressions? And it's almost yes. like a big sigh of relief, realizing yes. that they, they are the temple. Yes, God. they really are. You know, one of the big things that to me we have to get over before we can, though, recognize and let the Holy Spirit uh, flow in our lives is um, one of the sessions that I teach on this when I do this in conferences and things is called, the first one's called, You Got to Get Over Yourself. Okay, you got to get mm -hmm. over yourself. You got to die to self daily, Paul says. And so many of us, because uh, of one reason or another, we can get into all kinds of self kind of like sins, uh, even a sin of self righteousness, a sin of, but to the opposite would be a sin of self abasement where I just beat myself up. I look in the mirror and I say, Oh, honey, you know, oh, honey, you're not what you used to be. You just, and, and you begin to feel like such a, a failure as a Christian woman because of your physical body or whatever. But the other thing that I see is that so many of us feel like mediocre Christians. Mm -hmm. We think, you know what, we see these people on TV and they seem to have something that I don't have. We don't have anything that they don't have if they are believers. Right. They have the same it's Holy Spirit in within them, and they can glorify God. You don't have to accept mediocrity in Christ. He wants us to have abundance. He wants us to have a life that's overcoming. He wants us to live a life that glows, that glorifies Him. Don't you believe that everyone who trusts Christ has the Holy Spirit resident in them, but not everyone is allowing Him to be president in them, Daddy. king. And the real situation is this daily walk. You know, it's one thing to keep running to a filling station all the time, trying to get another dose of the Holy Spirit. But to yield our lives to the Holy Spirit, He will flow through us like a river. And I'm just going to tell you, Lori and Betty, we've known her a long time. I see the glow and the glory of God. You are a pretty girl. You've been a pretty girl since you were a little girl. But you have you are beautiful in the Holy Spirit. And see, Lori, I know, yes, you said I've got Baptist roots, but I'm founded and grounded in Jesus, and he's bigger than Baptist. He's bigger than any race. And I can tell you love everybody. And see, one real test, if you're a Holy Spirit-filled Baptist or a Holy Spirit Pentecostal, by the way, Pentecostals, you don't have a patent and a copyright on the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it was at Pentecost, not among the Pentecostals, <laughs> that the Holy Spirit was poured out. He was poured on all flesh, all believers. So don't, one of the reasons there's been some resistance is sometimes we, we get mean-spirited, like some mainline groups do, but then sometimes you can be in the spirit field group and get a little cocky, a little arrogant, and go around and collect Baptists like you collect scalps and put them on your belt. So I got me a Baptist with over the So we'll stop all this. If you're really full of love, Laurie, his love, you're gonna love everybody. You're not gonna want everybody to act like Sunnis and Shia and just start killing each other. See, we over here, we, we don't do it with bombs. We do it with words and unkindnesses and intimidation and don't you be seen with them. And boy, it's an awful thing. That's not the Holy Spirit, Lord, no, it's causing not. people to be that way. And I hear you saying, let's get full of Jesus Amen. who will be more like him. Amen. And here's what I'm going to say to you today. I see you glowing too. <laughs> I certainly see Betty glowing. But you know what? Listen, I'm fixing to surprise you, okay? I'm going to surprise you. I brought you a gift. You know, I was saved as a little seven-year-old girl in a revival that you did, and all of my brothers were saved in the years up. You have been such a blessing, and mm. you're the reason that I, really the, one of the, the, the greatest reasons that I know about the truths of the Holy Spirit, because of the foundation that I was brought up in and the, the teaching that I was exposed to. I found something, really, I have to tell you, give credit to my husband. We were antiquing last summer out in the hill country, and my husband was on one side of the shop, and he said, Laurie, come here. I ran over there and I'm going to show you what he found and I hope <laughs> that you won't recognize this at first. It will be something you've never seen before. <laughs> James, this is an album 
from probably the very first crusade that Idiot. you did. First citywide. First citywide crusade. He was 20 years old. You were married at the time. I, it's got the history on the back of it. And it started out in Houston, Texas at the music hall for teenagers. Over 700 people were saved. And they've got a souvenir album here. <laughs> and I just thought, i got to take this and show you. I'm Listen, glad you did. I'm only one. There are millions out there mm. who know and who've been saved and who have been set free by the truth of God's Word and by the gospel of Jesus Christ. I just hope you'll enjoy that. I just thought I want to surprise you. That is, that, is, that, is, that is something. That is, that is special to me. That is really, really special. Uh, this, this was uh, my first citywide crusade in Houston, and it extended a week. Youth for Christ, that's where Billy Graham started. And uh, I remember that I was just amazed that I was just such a young man. And all of our crusades then basically began to move into citywide everywhere. But Laura, that's pretty cool. I Isn't guess that it, cool? Has, it has a message. Did you yeah. have anything that would play this, by the <laughs> way? That's the only problem. You're going to have to really <laughs> we work. Have no way we can find something yeah. to play that. Uh, You'd have something that'll play. The kids gave me one. Oh, yeah, they gave you. Do we have to crank it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie, thank you. And Bill, thank you, buddy. I, I want to just again say that, that there's Laurie's website. And you can get her material. As a matter of fact, this is on, I'm sure, CD and is it on DVD it also? Well, yes. And you could get her entire teaching. Just go on her website and say, Laurie, send me that. You know, one of the things that uh, I know when Beth Moore shared along with us on Fully Alive, and we talked about freedom and fullness and the fruitfulness in the Spirit, one of the things we said is, and I'm telling you, this is, this is what our ministry is about, so if you're trying to pigeonhole me and put me in your little camp, well, if the camp of the Lord and a mighty fortress is not the right place to be, and in the cleft of the rock, and on the rock. If that's not the place to be, then, you know, there is no place to be, and that's where I am. What we're called to do is to build bridges and harmony of heart, because none of us know as we ought. What has thou that thou didst not receive? We're continually learning, and we don't walk with an, the arrogant step of a know-it-all, because we're all sitting at the feet of Jesus, simply listening. I believe Laurie is teaching in a way that builds harmony of heart. You are the temple of God. Get her teachings. Go on her website. You may just say, sweetheart, I want you to come and teach in my church. I want you to come to our community and invite her to come. Her kids are growing up now. I think one of them's made you a grandmother. That's exactly right. It's a glorious thing. That's a big reason to glow. It <laughs> makes it easy to glow. It makes it easy to glow. But she's got some time to come and spend with you so that you can all walk and live in the fullness of the Lord. Would you like to say thanks to Laurie? I thank you. Thank you for what you gave me, Laurie. You're thank welcome. Thank you for being Betty. I got to go back and look at all these That's pictures. Fun. <laughs> That is great. And yes, I do remember it because somebody came and said, you got to do this. Remember, Laurie Cole teaching the temple. And again, you can go on her website, invite her to come. Would you like to say thanks to Laurie for being here? Thank you, Laurie. And thank you so much for taking me back and showing me I'm an antique. Stop and that includes you too, baby. Thank you for watching Life Today. Encourage your friends to watch.